found someone, get some sushi from convenience store. Sushi boys have gotten sushi. Some of the convenience store food here has been better than restaurant food for me in other places. They are essentially conveyor belt sushi places or itadakimasu. Let's go for the salmon first. This is regular raw salmon. It's so good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the city of Osaka here in Japan. We are currently in Osaka and today we'll bring you a super interesting video. We're essentially going to be testing convenience store sushi versus conveyor belt sushi. Sushi in Japan does not have to be a super expensive thing and we've actually found ways to eat sushi for super cheap. So we're going to bounce to a few weeks ago when we were in Hiroshima tasting some convenience store sushi and then we'll come on back to Osaka and taste you guys conveyor belt sushi. So let's cut on back to Hiroshima. Gentlemen, we are just leaving our hostel and in Hiroshima right now. Hi Moshe, how you doing? What's up? We're sushi boys, ladies and gentlemen. You're in Japan, you're in Hiroshima, a seaside town. We gotta try some sushi. So, we're gonna go to a convenience store right now. In Japan, there's three main convenience stores which are our choices. We have Lawson, Family Mart, and 7-Eleven. We're gonna skip showing you which one we choose going to. We're just gonna bounce to one, get some sushi from a convenience store, try it. All right, sushi mission is over. We have acquired sushi. All right. Sushi boys have gotten sushi. We actually visited a Lawson, Family Mart, and a 7-Eleven until we decided to get from Lawson a roll and from Family Mart a roll. So we're gonna first of all try some proper sushi from uh, Family Mart. This was 369 yen, so just around $3. It's a beautiful, beautiful roll. Convenience store food in I was about to say the Philippines. In Japan is of top quality. Obviously, it's never gonna be like a proper sushi place, but it is still very, uh, it's still very top quality. I mean, some of the convenience store food here has been better than restaurant food for me in other places. So we're gonna try this. Moshe, do you know how to identify what's on here? I think this is seared, like on the sides, uh -huh. salmon. Salmon? This might entirely be salmon. It just it may be diff be, different yeah. types of salmon. All right, we're gonna try this out. All right, so we got some soy sauce on the side here. Ready to dink it, Moshe? So we're doing the one that kind of looks a little seared. I didn't rip it, but the rice just kind of broke apart. It's kind of lost all its, uh... Well, there you go. You see the instruction, the, in, uh, the integrity, structural integrity of sushi from a convenience store. Not that good. All right, let's go. Ready? Boom. I didn't have a salmon, yeah. Wow, it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. I thought I was gonna hate that. That was delicious. Because they sear it, they like, uh, with the torch, they torch it a little bit on the side. Wow, that was actually... So it makes it nice and smooth. Surprisingly, really, really good. We're gonna do this one next. Also, probably a type of salmon. Let's hit it. A little bit harder, that one. But still not bad. It's really good sushi. I'm man. kind of on board with it. <laughs> this last one, can we cut this in half? All right, this last one, also probably another salmon. Let's hit it. Definitely my least favorite of the three. That I one. liked them all. They were all really good. But wow, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm actually very impressed. Because we've seen this roll and I've avoided trying it. Damn, that was good. That was some good sushi. Next, this was from Lawson. It cost 300 yen or 298 yen. So just around $2.50. This roll consists of kani, which is a uh, imitation crab, egg, cucumber, mayonnaise, tuna, and may or may not have shrimp. It's not 100% sure on that one. Here we go. Very crunchy cucumber. This one's a very fun roll. There's nothing special. You can see the sushi, there's nothing really fresh about it. It's all ingredients that could be prepared months ago. It's delicious nonetheless, and it's so cheap. There's tuna mayo in there. Moshe doesn't want to try this one. I'm good. From Moshe's standpoint also, I don't think he considers this sushi, right? No, that is sushi. That's that's real sushi. But it's not like good, real, real sushi. Like it's decent for like Japan. It's whatever. Still delicious. What would you give it out of like a one out of 10? Okay, listen, for price wise, you're definitely getting an amazing deal. For like $2. Yeah, for like two, and then $3 for the sashimi one, which yeah. sashimi is really expensive. I'm, I'm gonna give it like an eight out of 10 for yeah, sure. I think so too. It's interesting because if you compare this and try to get it back home on this level of quality no and this level of taste, you're looking at five, six, seven bucks for maybe like half of the size of the roll. Whoa. We jumped back to Osaka. Wow, that was awesome sushi in Hiroshima. We are now going to head up to a sushi chain called Sushiro. Sushiro exists in a lot of places all across Japan. They have some in Hiroshima and Osaka and Tokyo. They're everywhere. They are essentially conveyor belt sushi places. They're characterized by this building that's kind of put up on pegs with a parking lot underneath them. And they have a giant conveyor belt going through the whole restaurant. They're super cheap and hopefully super delicious. So we're gonna jump on in there, taste their sushi, see what it's like, see how it compares to convenience store. Let's go for it. We are 
in. We've got our partner in crime, Moshe. We're gonna dig into the sushi. We'll explain to you guys how this restaurant works. All right, guys, now that we're in Sushi Do, I wanna explain to you guys how this restaurant works. It's pretty simple. You got a touchpad here on the side. You got a conveyor belt down here. Essentially, you click on the touchpad, you place in your order. So for this case, we're gonna do salmon, and then you'll place your order. And in a few seconds, there'll be a little jingle on the screen, and then the sushi will be here on the side, and it'll tell you which one to pick up, and then you can pick it up. The benefit to coming to this restaurant is that it's super, super cheap. Most things on the menu are only 100 yen, which is less than a dollar. It's about 95 cents, something around there. They also give you free green tea, and there's other things on the menu like udon, certain dishes that all range between the dollar to maybe five dollar maximum range, and they got amazing desserts. This video is not anyway sponsored by Sushiro, but I think for budget travelers who are watching this video, this is like the key to keeping budget sushi cheap in Japan. We want to really compare it to convenience store sushi. Now that we have that fresh in our mouth, let's see what it's like. And that's our first piece of sushi arriving right there. That's what that sounds like. And there we go, we can pick that up. And that is our beautiful salmon that has just arrived. I should have. I see. Here we go. That's our sushi right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have received our sushi. We have all the sushi on the table right now and we essentially bought all the rolls that we had in the convenience store to kind of recreate them. When it comes to the sense of the salmon, the broiled salmon, and the tuna, it is exactly what we had in the convenience store, just fresh out of the convenience, out of the convenience of the conveyor. Okay, we're gonna drizzle some soy sauce on top like we did earlier. And important to note, every single one of these rolls is one dollar, actually less than a dollar. They're all 100 yen. Let's go for the salmon first. Itadakimasu. This is regular raw salmon. Ready? Here we go. It just tastes more fresh. I, I don't know if I would say there's like a huge difference in quality of the fish. I mean, when it comes to texture or to the taste itself, you, there's not really anything specific. Since it was probably killed and prepared today, I think it has a lot less of a fishy flavor. Not that salmon has a fishy flavor to begin with, but it definitely, I think, hones in on that. And that's what I feel the most. Next up, the one that I think the two of us are anticipating the most is the broiled fatty salmon. I'll tell you what, immediately, like straight away, you can see there's more fat on this yeah. than in the, the convenience store. Definitely, you can see the streaks of fat in there. Let's go for it. Mm. Just a melt in your mouth, fish. But that fat, the fat kind of has a crunch, a little bit of a crunch to it, and it just works really well. Another thing that works really well is the rice not being refrigerated. I think when the rice is fresh like this, the flavor is unbelievable. Like it's so much better. But I mean, for a dollar, you really can't get that that much better. All right, next up, I'm not anticipating this so much. One of the most basic sushis you'll find in any convenience store. This is raw tuna. I love tuna, I love cooked tuna, but raw tuna just does not do it for me. I don't know why, but maybe, maybe it'll be a little different here, because it's fresh. It's so good. Oh, I don't like that at all. Ooh. I'll tell you, it really is a mix of the flavor and the texture for me that I really can't handle. But I mean, you you are more of the sushi tuna expert. So tell the people, what do you feel like? So it's definitely has that nice, like for him, he didn't like the texture, but I love the texture. It's very nice, soft, very close to almost melt in your mouth type of feel. Um, taste is top quality, honestly. It feels fresh. I don't know, I love tuna, so it was delicious. Well, Mr. Tuna Boy, it's time for you to try Tuna mayo. Now I know you're probably not looking forward to this because you don't really like over prepared things, but you want to drizzle soy sauce? Yeah, go for it. So this, the closest thing this will compare to is that roll that had a tuna, a tuna mayo and cucumber inside. There we go, tuna mayo. I love it. It's just tuna mayo sitting on a bed of rice with seaweed. That's whatever. It is whatever. For the sake of comparison between a convenience store and here, I mean, I would say there isn't much of a difference. You can definitely tell for sure that that tuna was made fresh. Because when you buy it in a convenience store, it has that like day old, two day old tuna kind of feeling to it. But you can see that thing was just put together now. Next up, egg. Hard boiled egg is going to be to the one that had, I think, cucumber and a little bit of scrambled egg or egg salad inside of it. Yeah, a little bit of soy sauce. All right, here we go, egg. Ooh. 
You know what? Maybe we had a loser there. I think that one in the convenience store might be a little tastier. I don't think it was a but fresh egg. Yeah, it wasn't like, ah, oh, uh -huh. In Japan, the quality of eggs here, hard-boiled eggs, oh, is so good. And they're super fresh all the time. But that one was, it was all right. It was whatever. Last but not least, this is a cucumber roll, also known as a kappa roll. Here we go. No surprise there. It's a cucumber roll, but it's good. Your cucumber, for the sake of eating it from the convenience store, it's fresher. The seaweed is fresher. It doesn't fall apart as easy. I think for one dollar, you have a clear winner there, for sure, on the cucumber side of it. We can rinse this down with the green tea. Which one of the rolls from both the convenience store and from here was your favorite? The tuna one from here was my favorite roll. Period. Uh huh. Uh, just the quality of the tuna outweighed everything in the other convenience store. And what about convenience store, if you had to choose your favorite? The fatty salmon one. The broiled one? Yeah, the, the broiled one. It was broiled. Um, it was really like, both of them were kind of melting your mouthish for me at least. Um, it wasn't too much fat on the other one, there was more fat in this one. Mm -hmm. I'm a person that doesn't like fat, so I, I personally like the other one a the little convenience bit better. store one. I was going to say yeah. that too, yeah. But still, like quality-wise, it's definitely here, but yeah. tasty-wise, I like the other one better. So I think I'm kind of on board with him. I would say that my favorite one from the convenience store was definitely the broiled salmon. Yeah, I, I think it, it had that aspect of melt-in-your-mouth type thing without too much fat, so it tasted super good. And it was cold in the convenience store, which I think kind of helped being refrigerated. And then from here, oddly enough, I would say the salmon, just the normal raw salmon, has got to be my favorite. It was so good. It was really good. It was really, really, really fresh. Really delicious, too. I, there's there's a lot of flavor there and a lot I mean a lot to be tasted for one dollar So I think for if you're in Japan It almost makes sense to stop by one of these sushi row restaurants. They're everywhere It makes sense for you to come out to one of these try it out if you've never done a conveyor belt sushi This could be your first beginning steps the menus are in English. All right guys So this is a bonus for the video Moshe wanted to try it. I'm scared to try it I'm excited. What are we I'm trying excited. here? Sea urchin Sea urchin if you haven't seen how this is prepared in Japan, please take a look at how sea urchin is actually made and then come back to this video. Oh god. Okay. This really, really scares me, guys. Moshi, you ready? Ooh, that does not smell very good. I know, I smell it from here. Alright, here we go. Are you going all one bite? Yeah. Why, why, why did we do this to ourselves? Why, 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 why? There's no way an animal that looks like that could taste good. There's no way. I'm sorry. <sighs> Ugh. That's horrible. It was so bitter. Ugh. It just tasted it tasted like garbage. Yeah. It tasted like you like the excess of an animal you're not supposed to eat. Like you're not supposed to put that in your mouth and eat. Alright guys, so we're gonna check out now. I wanna show you the process of checking out. Essentially every one of these plates has this little sensor at the bottom, and you're gonna see in a minute the waitress, we're gonna call her by pressing this button. One of them will come over with this little machine, they'll scan it, and they'll be able to tell the price of each plate according to the little scanner that's on the bottom. It's super, super cool. Okay, so now the way that works is after they give us this little card, they've essentially scanned our receipt onto this card. So we just bring this up to the cashier, they scan it, and they know how much we've eaten and what we've done with these plates. Thank you. 
I'm an asshole and I forgot to record an outro for you guys again. But we're gonna end this video here just like this. Make sure you guys check out the Air Osaka Hospital down in the description below. They have been an amazing sponsor for this Osaka series. We had such a good time eating some sushi. We're gonna give you your Japanese word of the day today, which is gonna be sushi. Make sure you check out the travelingcloud.com if you wanna pick up some cool merchandise just like this. And you can also subscribe and turn on those notifications if you wanna check out some future videos. We'll see you in the next one. I love you guys a long time. Goodbye, clats.